from this to this in two years without using any fertilizer. Today we share the seven free ways we nourish our plants. Before we go into the practical demonstration, we will discuss the risks of using conventional fertilizers and why our way of feeding the soil is superior. So let's dive in. So what happens when you feed your plants with fertilizer? They get basic nutrients that are so easy to absorb that they will grow shallow root systems and abandon their supportive fungal web. This will disrupt nutrient and mineral uptake facilitated by the fungi. Thus plants will need continuous fertilizing and become weak and susceptible to diseases and pests. This means now you have to feed them more fertilizer plus supplement minerals and fight diseases and pests with fungicides and pesticides. The chemicals will further diminish the fungal web, which leads to a weaker plant that needs more fertilizing and interventions, and so on and so forth. This is a downward spiral with growing expenses and shrinking gains, leading to the point when the farm can't generate profit anymore. Instead, we build our soil and the fungal web feeds our trees with nutrients and minerals. This is an upward spiral with growing income and shrinking expenses. These are the seven ways we feed our soil. First, logs. We start building our mound around the durian with these big logs. This is a slow fertilizer that will decompose in a few years. Fungi thrives on woody material, so this is a good home for them. Second is also a woody material. These are branches, thin and thicker branches. These decompose a little bit quicker than the big logs and they also feed our fungi very well. Number three are coconut husks. These are a byproduct of our tropical lifestyle. We have it on the farm. We are also foraging it, so we are bringing in organic coconut husks to the farm. It's always full of life under a coconut husk. <laughs> Number four is sugarcane fiber. This is another byproduct of our lifestyle. We have it here on the farm, we harvest it and we juice it here. Five, grass and weed clippings. This covers our mound. Grass clippings are a good mulch. They keep the mound moist and they decompose quickly. So they are a quick nourishment for the tree. Beautiful. Number six is the chop and drop of our support species. This for us is mainly 
Mexican sunflower. and banana. We split the logs and put it on the mound upside down. This is very good moisture in the dry season. Number seven is the secret one that I will show you after you hit a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel. Ready? All right. This is our list. You can swap any of these to whatever is available to you as long as it supports life.